Hi, ladies. Thank you for joining me today. I am Julie Gilson with Stampin' Gala, and um, I have some cute projects for you today. I'm using the rustic, actually it's called the Hello Harvest stamp set and the matching dies. And I am using a number of other dies um, to complete this set, as well as a couple other stamps. Um, let me show you the projects. I am watercoloring the pumpkin on this um, project, as well as on this one. This is a really cute, um, this would make a great hostess gift. It has a little pumpkin candle in here. I'll show you shortly. And then this other card. And I have to tell you, the camera is not picking up the colors of this very well. It is um, soft sea foam and very vanilla. I find that when I use softer colors, it doesn't pick up very well. So trust me, they look much better in person. So those are the projects we're making today. If you would like to have these um, sent to you for free, all you have to do is place your order by Saturday at midnight by midnight using this host code. And please make sure you do use the host code because I can no longer add it to our orders. Um, so I'd appreciate your help with that. I do want to show you, we only have, today is the 14th. So tomorrow is the last day to sign up for um, my Create a la carte for this month. And as you guys know, um, Create a la carte is a subscription class. You can cancel at any time. Um, I want to show you what it, um, the projects this month. You always have five projects and I usually do four cards and one 3D item. So here are, this would be great to get a jump on your Christmas cards. So can I open this? Okay, so that's the inside. And I'm using Red, Red Coastal Capella, and Bermuda Bay. And I know these are not typical colors that you would put together, but I think they look really pretty. Here's the third card here. If you're wondering, I have the numbers on the back because I want to make sure when I I already did the PDF, but I want to make sure that I have the right number with the PDF. And then here is another card. I just think they're gorgeous. And you get a lot of extra product with this. And then this is a nice size box. And this can hold Christmas tea. Okay, so you get the five um, make and takes. You also get the PDF, but you get the red and white glimmer paper. You also get a package of the red rhinestones and you get a full roll of the ribbon. So all of that for $42 and it does include shipping. So if you're interested in that, it does close tomorrow. So make sure if you're interested um, that you want to um, register or subscribe before tomorrow. And like I said, you can cancel at any time, but if you don't cancel, it will come out next month as well. You'll be in the running for next month. Um, a really awesome thing that's going on tomorrow is our 15% off stamp sale. So anything in this catalog, so the annual catalog, all the stamps in the catalog, with exception of the ones in the back that are the host stamps, and I don't know if I can find it quickly, but let me see. These. These are not 15% off. So every other stamp set in the catalog is 15% off tomorrow. So if you're um, wanting to place an order or, the, or if there's some stamp sets that you were looking at, tomorrow's the day. Okay. Um, there, I did send out my newsletter yesterday. I have switched to Tuesday because it's for two reasons. Um, we get our information, our new stuff on Tuesday, so it makes sense. And then the other thing is I already have Simple Sunday and Makeover Monday that I do over the weekend. So I need a little bit of time. <laughs> so anyway, I know these. Um, this doesn't show up very well. I'm trying to make it look better, but I don't think it's doing, I don't think it's doing the, the trick. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started with these projects. I think I will start with this one first. I think that's so pretty. So let me grab get this out of the way. Uh, 
Okay. So again, this is soft sea foam, and I'm using soft sea foam, very vanilla, and our gold foil. So we're going to fold this over. And I see I got ink on me there. <laughs> anyway, um, this is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Oh, and you know, I did forget to cut a piece of paper, but we'll get, we'll get to that. Okay, so then I also have a piece here that is four and a quarter by three, and I did emboss this with the timber embossing folder. And then I have a piece of gold foil. Now, if you wanted to, you could cut these right out of here. I would do that, um, but for the sake of the video, I did not. So we're gonna adhere to these two together, and I'll just build this part first. And then I'll have to cut the background piece. Okay, I like a slim margin. So I'll go ahead and get this down and then I'm going to trim it off a little bit. Hey, Trisha and Margaret, I see lots of my friends on here. Shelly, I hope you had a, a wonderful birthday. Okay. And just a little bit more over here because otherwise it's going to be uneven. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, so I do need to grab some. I'm using uh, the Fluid 100 watercolor paper. And we're going to stamp the pumpkin. And also one of the little flowers. So I am using Versamark. I'm going to ink up the pumpkin. Stamp that down. And also this little flower. I'm using gold embossing powder. Get some more on here. Yeah, that's better. And we'll just heat this. And you can probably hear um, my machine going in the background. My friend Debbie's here helping me get ready for our retreat. And it's just a few um, weeks away. So ladies, I forgot to say in the beginning, if you're new to the channel or first time watching this live, please let us know so we can give you a warm welcome. And as always, um, thank you to all of you that return week after week and spend your Wednesday night with me. I really, truly appreciate it. Okay. Okay, Deb, would you mind die cutting these for me? I'm so lucky to have her here. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is I was supposed to cut out this background and I forgot to do so. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Thank you. 
I always forget something. Okay, so again, I am using Very Vanilla, and this is the 6x6 six six paper, and it's the polka dot pattern. And I do want you to know that um, depending on the number of orders that come through today, I may send um, some equally as pretty paper with it instead of the polka dot, but it will be beautiful. It's just last year's pattern, and I have tons of it, and um, I don't want to go ahead and we only get two sheets in each pack, so of the, of this pattern, so in this color, I should say. All right, so let me just trim this off a little bit. Uh, Nancy, we know you're not a newbie. Hey, Kathy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this down. Thanks, Deb. All right, so we're just going to glue this down. And by the way, I should have the PDF for our to everybody in next week. And for those of you, something there. For those of you that ordered shirts, I did not send out bills for them. They are ordered and they're done. Um, they're already done. I just have to pick them up on Friday. Um, so at the event, I'll bring them to the event. And those of you that are coming to the event, you can just pay cash for them there. And I'll tell everybody what the prices are because there is tax on that. So the shirts were 20 plus 6% tax. I don't know what state you're coming from. So ours is 6% in Michigan. Um, what was expensive, Robin? Okay, so I got that down. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and watercolor the little pumpkin here and also the, the sunflower, okay? So I am using, let me show you the colors that I'm using. I'm using... Soft sea foam, crumb cake, and so saffron. I'll do the, the crumb cake really quickly. Just make sure you have water on your brush. It looks like I'm going to need some more. I just need a little bit of crumb cake up here in the corner uh, on the stem here. And then clean off your brush. Oh, Robin, what did you pay for yours? I'm curious. And all I'm going to do is do a real quick wash on here with the um, soft sea foam. I'm going to have to get some more water in here. So now what I'm doing is going back over where the Stampin' Up! makes it easy for us, where they're adding the little lines here. And I'll just add a little bit of darker, um, another coat, I guess, another layer of the soft seafoam ink. Okay, just like that. All right. All right. And finally, I'm just going to do this little sunflower here and clean off my brush first. Now I'm using soft seed, or no, this time is so saffron. And I'm just adding a little bit of color on here. I even left the center um, uncolored. Okay. All right. Hey, Deb, would you please add some water in this? 
things. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put some um, dimensionals behind here. I like to put quite a few so it it stays down. Somebody calling me. And then this, I use the, let me show you what die I use for this. It's in the Ranunculus die set. I'm using this little leaf, and I did use this as well for another um, part. Okay? Thanks, Deb. All right, so now we're going to put a little bit of glue behind this leaf. You guys are so sweet. It looks like somebody's new on here. Um, Donna, I don't see. Let me see if I can go back. I don't see you, Donna. I must be missing it. Well, anyway, welcome. Okay, so we're going to put this down right here. Okay. And then... No, it's the wrong shade of gold. Can you do a couple in that? Yeah. Ladies, this is the wrong shade of gold. I wanted more of a softer gold, so we're going to go ahead and put this down. I had an extra one sitting here because I'm picky. <laughs> oh, it's right here, Deb. Can you do two of them? Yeah. Thanks. Do I need to do something else in gold, too? Nope. Curly mm -hmm. cues? Um, I think they're good. Because I didn't have this age. Oh, then I guess so you do. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this down here. I didn't even notice that. I, it was a crazy day today for me. I had an infusion yesterday, and it didn't go so good. So well, I should say. Okay, so that's going to go down there. And then, what going to do with those leaves? I'm sorry, I'm all out of sorts today. Okay, so then we're going to stamp some leaves and emboss these as well. So here's my stamp. I love this look. We're going to heat these up. Okay. Want to say hi to everybody, Deb? Hi, everybody. <laughs> Debbie's kind of shy. You wouldn't know it, though, if you knew her. <laughs> She's just camera shy. Okay. So then these will be die cut. And here you go, Deb. And this is how they'll come out, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and put one of these down with glue. It's right there, Deb. Just like that. All right. And then we're going to take this. And add this on. And this will go about right here. So far, so good. The other leaf I'm going to put right here. And what I'm going to do is just glue the part that's going to be on top of the pumpkin. About right there. I saw that, Jerry. I hope that you're going to be okay. 
And then the little um, flower that the sunflower that we colored is going to go on here as well. I think I'll put it right here. And I did do a second one. And this is going to slide under right there. Okay. So what's going on right there? So far, so good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take a couple of these curly cues, and these are, let me see if I can find my scissors. First oh, there they are. Um, this is in the same die set that goes with the rust, um, rustic, what is that called? Hello Harvest. Okay, so I'm just popping these out because we get all that stuff out of there. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to put this down like that. I think everybody should have a Debbie. <laughs> and then this is going to go on up here. Okay. Just like that. So far, so good. Okay. And then I think, Debbie, I need a, a curly one of these two in green. See that? Okay. So then we're going to do some stamping. I know you guys can tell I'm like all the sorts today. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm using the Hello Stamp and crumb cake okay so then what, uh, the dye that i used for that is from the um harvest set and it comes out looking like this okay so we're going to go ahead and put this on dimensionals um i am using this Nouveau glue. Somebody gave it to me last week or the week before and asked me to give it a try. So this is going to go on right here. And ladies, the only thing that I can't add to these cards tonight are these little gold um, pearls or the festive pearls. I used every one of them that I had. In fact, to put them on here, I had to steal it from another card. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then Deb just cut this one out for me. It's the same as this, but we did it in soft sea foam. And we're going to just slide it right there. I think that looks so cute. So just keep in mind, if you do the make and takes, if you place your order, you will get, um, you will get the festive pearls in your make and take packet. I just can't add them on today. I did the best I can. <laughs> okay, so now... And what we're going to do is add a bow. And what I did was I took a piece of our, let me show you the ribbon, this gold ribbon right here, and I cut it in half, okay? I do like this glue. And Kathy, I'm sorry, I'll send you your um, that information you asked me for um, in the morning, okay? You may have already have it, though. So anyway, we're just going to do a regular bow here. And I like it with this little, since I cut it in half, some of the string or, um, is kind of fraying, but that's okay. I like it. It looks kind of, you know, fallish. Okay, so this is going to go on right there, but I do need to trim it a little bit. I'm glad you like it. Donna, you must be the one that they said you're new. Is that right? So this is going to go on right there. And I need a blue dot. So, ladies, those of you that are coming to my retreat in Finley, um, many of you have asked what stamp sets I'm using. And I'm using the gnome set. 
And if you would like to bring a Garden Green Stamps um, ink pad, you don't have to, but if you'd like to, you can. Um, I will have it, but if you'd like to, you can. And then um, I'm also using the that Frosted Joyful Flurry set. So if you would like to, if you have that set, you can bring that. I am um, using that with Balmy Blue if you want, if you'd like to bring a Balmy Blue ink pad. I'm also using the, let me see, um, Decorated Pines. Um, in that one, I'm using the Soft Sea Foam and Gold, Gold Embossing Powder. And I'm trying to think, oh, Mistletoe, the Mistletoe set. And that you do want to bring, if you have it, a water painter, a um, pair of pizzazz, ink pad, and real red ink pad. You don't have to. I'll have it. But if you'd like to do it at your own desk um, and not share <laughs> and not wait on anybody, then you might want to bring it. Okay. All right. So we're doing the inside now. And like I said, you don't have to, but a lot of times people like to bring their own. I'm going to go ahead and put the powder on here because I can't see where it's at. Oh. And then I'll let you know the last set. Hey, Margaret. Yep, all is well with me. We're going to go ahead and stamp one more. All right, we'll go ahead and heat this. And then this card is just about done. Yes, I will. That is just what I know of so far. So again, these are the stamp pads you might want to bring. Soft sea foam, um, real red, garden green, and balmy blue. And you also want to bring a water painter. And I am using gold and silver embossing. So if you want to bring your own heat tool and Versamark, you can do so. And again, it's not necessary. I'm just saying if you'd like to. Okay, so I also have a little strip here. I'm going to put this across here. And this is kind of crazy because you don't need a lot of glue and you certainly don't want it ease, oozing out here. But I can tell you, you guys are going to love the projects. Yes, they are. Listen to Deb. Yes, you are. <laughs> I had club at my house um, last night. And some of the ladies are coming, so I had to hide it all. The only ones that have seen them are the people that um, are helping me get ready. But I, I do have to tell you, they are really pretty. I wish everybody could come. Okay, I'm going to trim this just a little bit. I'll tease them. I like them all, but the red one is awesome. Which red one? The, the red glitter. Oh, yeah, that one is really pretty. She's talking about the mistletoe set. That one is gorgeous. I love it. It's funny, though, because last night a couple of people saw them, and everybody had a different favorite. One person liked the gnomes. One person liked the snowflakes. Um, and now Deb's saying she liked the um, mistletoe one. I love them all, but I like the look of them. I do, too. That one's so pretty. <laughs> You're so funny. Courtney. Robin, I did not see how much you said you paid for your little um, 
cutter, your trimmer. Can you say so again? If you'd like, I don't know if you did. Um, you know, Kathy, I don't know. Because she um, hasn't been going into work that much. Wow, Robin, that's a lot. Okay, so here is your first card. And like I said, I couldn't add the little um, gold pearl, festive pearls. But it looks still looks pretty. What do you think? Do you like them? I hope so. All right, so we're going to move on to this card right here. I just love it. I hope you do too. All right, so now let me grab this stuff. Now this one is what we call the portrait style. So this is 11 by four and a quarter and it's scored at five and a half. So again, ladies, if you would like these make and takes, just make sure that you place your order by Saturday and use this host code right here. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put these two pieces together. Thanks, Maureen. So this time I used the Time Worn Type embossing folder. You probably can't even see it, but I'm sure you're familiar with it. This is five, five by three and three quarters, and this one is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. Okay. Now, ladies, I just bought another one, and I got it on Facebook. I paid 25 for it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this down. Yes, you can, Catherine. Thanks, Shelly. I just saw you answered her. Okay, so then we have a piece of the gold foil, and then this is the um, stripe pattern, and this is in the 6x6 six six DSP for the subtles. And it has four different patterns of each, each color. I happen to like the stripes. I like the polka dots, and there's also another plaid I like. All right, so we're going to put this down. I wish you all could see these in person, but you know what? Some of you will at the event because I set up a display. Well, I don't do this display. Somebody helps me with it. <laughs> it's funny because this event takes probably at least... Um, the help of 10 to 12 people um, helping me ahead of time and also at the event. What are my favorite stamp sets, Robin? I like um, a lot of the floral ones. I love, love, I like the um, Forever Fern stamp set too. That's one of my favorites. Um, oh, shoot, I got to add this piece on, too. And this is going to be three inches. So let me get this on first. So anything floral, I do like, um, I think it's called Hues of Happiness. I love the Cottage Rose um, stamp set. I, I do like a lot of florals, but some of my customers want me to get away from using florals so much. But I can't help it. I, those are the ones I like. Deb, what do you think? Um, I like them all. I mean, I, I don't think you do too much floral. I know you like that. Do you, um, can you name some of the ones I use quite a bit? <laughs> Oh, one of the stamp sets, if you don't have it, you really should get it, is the Go-To Greetings. I use that all the time. 
I love the tea set one, and that's in the front of the catalog. That's a really good one. And it, you don't even have to just use it for spring. I mixed um, stuff with it. There's a couple of Christmas ones in there that are um, great to have. One with the little poinsettias. I did a Christmas card with it. Maybe I should um, pull out some of my cards at the end and show you if you would like me to. I have them handy. Um, but they're not in any kind of order, so you would have to bear with me. And I can show you lots of them. If you're interested in that, let me know. And Trisha, you're so funny. <laughs> okay, so now these two dies. Deb, can you sh um, give me the dies for these so I can show them? Because honestly, when I first got this, um, it just was, um, I'm thinking, what do I do with this? So anyway, I ran this one with the, the pattern, the plaid, and then this one is with the polka dots. Thanks, Deb. Mm -hmm. So this is what the dies look like. All right. So what I did is I'm going to take dimensionals and put this together. And like I said, they're not in any kind of order, but I am getting like boxes ready for the retreat, anything that I want to bring. And then I can point out which ones are in the palette or the catalog if you wanted to get them at a discount tomorrow. So don't place an order today if you want to um, order some um, stamp sets that are in the annual catalog. Okay, so this is gonna um, this is die cut, and this is with from the scary cute, no scary silhouettes. So this is another great one. I love this die right here, and this one as well. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this up on dimensionals. Deb ran this through, and then she um, embossed it with the timber embossing folder. I'll tell you what, if Deb and Patty weren't here today, um, I probably wouldn't be on tonight. So I have them to thank. Okay, so this is going to go on right here. So just make sure you get it centered from side to side. And see, I'm not going all the way to the bottom. And then here's your little pumpkin. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of here. I'll grab as many cards as I can. I, I have them in boxes on the uh, table behind me because I'm getting things sorted and to go to the retreat. So if you don't mind bearing with me, I can show you. Okay, so then this is going to go down right here. So it's starting to shape up like a pumpkin, okay? Then I die cut this little stem, and this is the stem right here. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue on here. And here's the thing. I'm going to make this go a little bit crooked. I want it. I don't want it straight. I want it a little crooked. Okay. All right. And then I did stamp another one of the leaves and die cut it. So this is just going to go on right here. And I'm putting glue here. And I'm going to put a little dimensional right here. Instead of putting it on the back of the um, leaf, I want to make sure it lands in the right place. So I'm going to go right there. In addition to that, I have one of the little um, sunflowers, and that will go up on a dimensional right here. It's coming along. Okay, and then we're going to take one of these little curly cues. I don't even know what you call these. And I'm just going to tuck this under here, just like that. But I do want to put a little bit of glue on here. Oh, thanks, Margaret. Okay, see how that's shaping up? 
Okay, we're going to come back to that in a second. All right, so now we're going to stamp. I am using this little Hello stamp, and this is from the um, Cottage, Cottage Wreath stamp set. So I'm stamping this with um, crumb cake. And then I'm going to pull back in, where did it go? The Vernaculus set. And the, this is where I got that one leaf from. But I love, love, love this little die here. So this is going to go through the machine just like that. And it came out just like this. Okay. So this is going to go on right here on a, with a couple of dimensionals. All right, and I'm just going to make sure that I center it. And just keep in mind that I don't have the little gold dots pearls to put on because I ran out. All right, and then I have the other half, I just have to trim this off, of that ribbon that I cut in half. Let me see if it's long enough to do a, du a double bow here. I hope so. Yeah, I should be able to get it. Might be a little bit tight, but I'm going to try. If not, I'll cut another one in half. There. I'm just going to make it. So don't try and follow me on this bow because <laughs> it's going to be difficult. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do a regular bow. That was too short and I don't want to deal with it. Trim off the ends. When you trim off your ends of your ribbon, just don't um, just don't cut them like that, just straight, or just chop them. I like them to be a little bit neater. I guess you can do whatever you want on your cards. <laughs> okay, so this is going to go right here. So, so far, so good. All right. So then on the inside, I'll show you what I did here. So I took a little piece of that ribbon, half of the ribbon, and what I did was I just put a piece, a little bit of beading of glue right across here. And then I put the, like the trim, the edge up on the top. So we're just going to lay this down and make sure you get it even. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I also have a piece of the DSP to tie this together. And this is going to go right in here. So I'll put some glue across here and attach this piece all the way up to that little, you'll see when I get it done. See how it just shows that? And it's so glittery. I love it. So I'm going to trim this off. Trim this side. This trimmer will cut right through that ribbon, so no need to worry about that. Okay. So see how nice and sharp this is on the edges. 
Thank you, Robin. Are you a demonstrator too? Oh, thank you, Linda. All right, so we're going to put these two together. So, ladies, if you want these make and takes, just make sure you place your order by Saturday using this host code. Now, if you order more than 150, don't use the host code because then you will get your own host credit and I will send you the make and takes anyway. Okay? Trim off the bottom just a little bit. How long have you been a demonstrator, Robin? Okay, so this is going to go on in the inside. Oh, okay. Isn't it a great hobby or business, however you work it? By the way, if um, any of you out there are interested in becoming a demonstrator, whether a hobby or a um, business demonstrator, I'd love to have you on my team. If you're not working with another demonstrator already, of course. Okay, so here is your second card. Now, just keep in mind, it does make a difference, all the little details. Okay, so there's your second one. So now we're going to create this project here. All right, so I'm going to take this out of here so you can see it. I picked up this candle at um, Target. It was only $5, and it's, it's so cute. It's a little pumpkin, and it's vanilla scented. It smells so good. Okay. So here's the project that we're going to make. And there's just a couple of things that I have to get together real quickly. So just give me a minute and I will get them. The two and a half inch circle punch. Have you seen that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm so needy today. <laughs> anyway, all right. So this is, um, yes, it is soft sea foam. And um, this is eight and a half by eight and a half. And it's scored at, I don't, nope, that's not it. Um, there would be another, just open up another path. Nope, up there on top of the file cabinet. Towards the, don't grab the top. Yeah, one of those. <laughs> and there's different shades in there. Okay, so it's scored at one and a quarter and two and a half on all sides. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So we're folding on all score lines. Doesn't the gold make a huge difference on here? Yeah, that's it. I tried my best, ladies, to get ready today, <laughs> but it was crazy. All right, so now we have, oh, you can see it here. You have the four corners, the four squares there. We're cutting out the outside three corners on every side. And then we're going to turn this one into a tab. Okay, so let's trim this all the way up to there. We're going to cut these out. Shelly, are you going to on stage? Shelly and Maureen and Lisa, I'm going to Pittsburgh.
Okay, so as you can see, the three outside corners are cut out, and then this one is turned into a tab. And then we're going to cut this up. Robin, who's, whose team are you on? Maureen, I'll have to tell you about it. It's on the Stampin' Up! website. It's in November. Um, one on stage, um, but there's different cities going on at the same time. So I know there's one in Jacksonville, Florida, Pittsburgh, um, Indiana, Anaheim, and I think there's one in Texas, but I'm not sure. And then the those are the um, local, and then the live is in Vienna this year. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Lisa, you can still sign up. Okay, so we're going to glue this. Lisa, you can sit with our team. Those of us that are going to to um, Pittsburgh. Well, I was going to keep it a secret, but um, Stampin' Up! called me yesterday and asked me to present. So I am going to be presenting in um, Pittsburgh. It's the first time it's I've presented before, but not um, I didn't create. I had to do two different presentations at different events. So, OK, so this is how it looks so far. So now I'm going to just fold in to see if those go in well and they do. So I'm going to glue this down. I hope so too, Vicki, but I get to, um, I'm going to be working with a suite of pro projects, a new suite. So I think I have to make anywhere between um, six and nine projects. Oh, thanks. Trisha. And I don't know if we're flying or driving yet. I got to see what everybody else wants to do that's going. Okay, so this is the box itself. And then I have a piece of cardstock that is 11 by 1 and a quarter. And so. Um, what we're going to do is just take the bone folder and just kind of curl it a little bit. Okay? And this is going to go in like this. So what I'm going to do is put some glue, and I'm just guessing. I hope I didn't go over one and a quarter. So we're going to, oh, it's perfect. <laughs> That's the one thing with this business. Once you 
when you've been in it for a while, I mean, you can measure up anything. Yeah, I'm, we're probably going to drive. I just hate it, though, because I have a new car, and I'm already, I've only had it for a couple of months, and I'm already over mileage by about 1,500 miles. Okay, so, so far, so good. Okay. All right. Now I have some pieces here. This is from the layering circle, circle dies, and it's a scallop. And then I have, this is also from the layering circle dies, and it is die cut and then embossed with the timber embossing folder. And then this is a two and a half inch circle. So I'm going to glue these two together. Well, we went to the Tulip Festival, festival week after I got it, so I drove to that, and yeah, it's, it's crazy. Always running somewhere. Okay, so then we're going to put um, this on dimensionals. I don't know. I just saw somebody. I think they said, what is Tony making for dinner? Did somebody say that? I must have lost it. Oh, well. I don't know, but he better make something because I'm starving. <laughs> and when I get done, I hate going out. He likes to go out, and I don't. Okay. So we have that, and then I did already die cut, stamp and die cut this pumpkin, and I watercolored it. So this is going to go on here as well as one of the leaves. So we're going to go ahead and decorate this up. So let me put some glue on here. So this is going to go off to the side here. Oh, no, it's going to go underneath. Okay, and then this is going to go on top. One of the leaves that we already did. Now this will go up on dimensionals. Now the fill that I have in the little box here, I used a, a vanilla color fill, and I don't even know where I got it from. I have a whole bunch of stuff in my stash. Um, hi, Peggy. It is the Nouveau glue. Okay. Somebody wanted me to try it out, so I am. Okay. So I got that, and then we're going to put another one of um, these leaves on top. And you guys all saw me stamp these already. And a couple more. Um, of the little sunflowers. For some reason, my hands are freezing right now. Are you cold, Deb? Mm -hmm. No. Hmm. I usually have my own personal summer tomorrow. I know, not today, <laughs> huh? If you guys saw what I have on right now, you guys would probably <laughs> crack up. <laughs> Wouldn't they, Deb? They would. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing she you can't. Win a I, she said I wouldn't win, um, win a fashion show contest. <laughs> 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 I have on pink slippers, red socks, black pants, and a green shirt. Now, how do you like that? But my cards match, so that's all that matters. But you do have pink highlights on your shirt. What do I have? Pink highlights on your shirt. Where? Right here. It's on the Alaska. Oh, okay. That's right. <laughs> Okay, so we're putting that down right there. All right, so then we're going to go ahead and tie a bow. And I got so mad at that ribbon, I just threw it. So let me see if I can resurrect this. Okay, so we're going to tie a bow here.
I know. That's a little ink. And it looks like a little heart. You know, kind of like the um, Grinch hearts. Look at that. It's red and green. Perfect colors, too. But, you know, I don't have this color shirt. And you know how I have to match it. So if you saw the rest of me, you wouldn't be critical of that, Shelly. You'd be critical of something else. So this is going to go on right here with a dimension. No, not with a dimensional, a glue dot. The leaves are from the same set. I'll show you the stamp set in a second. It's in the holiday catalog. And it's the Hello Harvest set. Okay. So this is the stamp set. I'm using the pumpkin. I use this little um, flower here. I use the hello. And this is the leaf here. And then for the other hello, I use this, the cottage wreath, that hello. Um, let me show you some of the other stuff I used. Here are the dies that go along with cutting out the pumpkin and the leaves and the things in the little flower. I also used this one, Rhinoculus. This is the gold leaf that I've been using. I also use this die. I use the Scary Silhouettes. And the Harvest set, I use this die right here. And of course, the layering circles. So that should do it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is put some dimensionals right on here. So... Well, I can do it right on the back here, too. I just want to make sure I get them in the right spots. And the fill, I debated on whether or not to use the, um, like the grocery bag color, like the craft color. But I like this. And just make sure you get it centered and make sure the pumpkin is straight. So anyway, I took, I also just took a little bit of ribbon or twine and just tied it around the, the stem. I did have this on here. You can also, let me cut some of this off. You can dress up the pumpkin as well by just putting one of these little leaves on there. Okay, and you can do a little, um, one of these little curly cues. I don't even know what they're called. But look how cute that looks. Just dressing it up a little bit. And then, you know, just putting it back. Let me show you. Just put it right in there. And is that so cute? Let me turn it a little bit. Just like that. Okay. So these are your projects today. I have my host code here. I am going to stay on and show you some cards that I did. Here are your projects. And remember, all you have to do is place a minimum $40 order by Saturday, and I'll send you these make and takes for free. So if you'd like to stay on, I'll pull in some of my cards and show you some of them. Um, just give me a minute to grab them, okay? But for those of you that are dropping off, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next week, hopefully. <laughs>
So is this, the swimsuit one. I don't know all the names, ladies, of the stamp sets. But all of these are in there. I don't think this one is in anymore. Is Pun Petal still in the catalog? Does anybody know? Here's Cottage Rose. Uh, this one is definitely in the Daffodil. And here's, I don't even know the name of this, the Bumblebee one. And then the Poppy, Painted Poppies. Okay, thanks. This is not, this is in the, um, the, the holiday catalog. And here's the, the poppy one again. And also the poppy one again. Okay, so let me grab some more if you're not bored. <laughs> grab this. Okay, so this one is in still okay so is this these are all 15 percent off this was a simple sunday a makeover monday that's in this is in the catalog look i have kits i was going to sell like group of, groups of my cards if anybody's interested too this one is in in the um, catalog. Let's see. Now some of these might be gone, but we'll see. Here's another one. This one is gone. This one is gone too. That one was cute. This is in the holiday catalog. This is available. And this one is too. This goes with that B, that B card I just showed you a little while ago. This is gone already. Yes, it is still in the catalog. This, of course, is in the catalog. Um, I don't think this one is. And neither is this one. This one is, so that's available. And this is a holiday, I mean, yeah, the holiday catalog. It's crazy when you do this, you get so many cards. Let's see some more. This is in. This one is not. This one is not. Yeah, a lot of these are, I'm coming down to the, these are not, these little, these one. now this one is available. Let's see. This one is, this one's pretty. So is that one. Can you tell I like flowers? Oh, this one's pretty. I like that one. This was a celebration. I love that card. This is gone. This one is available. And I love this one too. That's available. That's available. And I think that's about it. Here's one. And I think that's it. Okay. I have more, but I think this is enough. <laughs> anyway, so there you go, ladies. I hope you like that. Um, remember to use your host code tomorrow and thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great night. Bye-bye.